Hello guys, in this video we are going to take a look how we can upload a file using PHP and force file to download within a page. So let's start. Here you can see that this is a basic HTML form where action is same page and method is post. Also whenever you upload a file, so uh, you can add one attribute called enc type multipart form data okay save so let's write php code first of all connect to server first parameter is local host Username, password is blank, and in our case, database name is example. We check in if that submit button is click. button name so take the value file name the super global variable we are using dollar underscore files here first is file name name attribute and another is name this is default okay then query or uh, path where we want to upload file so path in our case this folder files concatenate file name inside files folder so create query so insert into table name here yeah. and created file upload file download table yeah. you can see that these are two one id this is primary key integer and file name bracket 500 of length Okay, so file download is a table name. Okay, values. File name. Values. Is file name. Uh, need to one variable also temp file temporary name whenever php upload a file so it stores on a temporary variable file this is name attribute and Another is TMP underscore name. So after the query run, so my SQL underscore query provide two 
parameter first is connection another is query okay if query run then move upload it file and this php inbuilt function will upload the file into destination folder and this require two parameters first is temporary file name means source another is path means destination save it echoing the success message If any error occur, this function shows the error and MySQL error function require one parameter connection. So refresh your application, choose any file. Upload. You know, we got success message. Let's refresh here also. You know, now you can see that one file is uploaded. So check into your files folder. Here you can see that recently uploaded image is shown. After that, create my link to download. Okay, so using anchor tag, this will goes to download dot php file with file equal to First of all, we need to select all the records in database. So, create query. Run is already available. Nice with that query. This will require two parameter connection that is query two. Okay. After that, create one loop for fetching on the report while loop variable rows is equal to my SQL page associative array okay require parameter one run two okay one parameter run two okay So it's time to break the PHP. file name this database file name 
फाइलिंग इसके बाद कॉलम में फाइलिंग So save it. Refresh your page. Next step is to create one download of PHP file where actual download PHP script is written, and we are sending a one variable file. So not empty so filing we need a Same as PHP inbuilt function. Okay, fine. Okay, then file path is files. Okay. Path of folder is folder in okay file name if file name is not empty. and file exist so and file path then execute rest of so it's time to define header so, so after the defining header read the file so uh, file read is a php function read file ok and it will take file path path variable then exit if not so so file not exit So the file refresh okay if I want to download this file here yeah. you can see that we downloaded this file okay.
yes also try second first we downloaded file within same browser page okay so thank you guys